No wonder it was so dark coming home last night from work. Check that out, that's salt. I scraped that away, you can see, look at that. Ugh, it's just terrible. That's salt. Salted roads suck. Well, I guess icy roads are worse, but man, that's a lot of salt. Good morning. Breakfast this morning is going to be a smoothie, which I was never much of a smoothie drinker, but I'm really digging this smoothie from this cookbook, The Abundance Diet. It's called the Apple Pie Green Smoothie. Let me tell you what's in it. We got spinach, bananas, apples, either apple butter or a date. I've done it with both. Cinnamon, ice, I've been using flax seeds and um, stevia to taste. If you want it, I won't be using any here. So anyway, this is going to be my breakfast smoothie. This I highly, highly recommend this cookbook. All right, let's get started. So I highly recommend this book, How Not to Die by Dr. Greger. I'm sure you've heard of it. In the book, he recommends 12 foods we should be eating daily. One of those foods is berries. So I'm going to not only have my smoothie this morning, but I am going to also eat this cup of uh, what was a frozen strawberries. It's winter here now, very cold, you can't get fresh berries that are any good anyway. So I'm just gonna be having these frozen strawberries that I thawed and I will be able to check that off on one of the things on my app, my Daily Dozen app, which I'll show you at the end of the day. So I got so excited about this soup, I almost forgot to show it. So this is lunch, okay? And this is my second bowl, which I'm glad I uh, remembered. And um, this is, this is a minestrone, um, and I guess I based it on the Plant Pure Nation uh, cookbooks minestrone, but um, theirs had cabbage in it. I didn't have any cabbage, um, so I used okra. I had a bag of frozen okra, so I used okra instead. And um, I used um, more beans, more beans and more tomatoes than they called for. I used less less pasta and I use the brown rice pasta and I put in an extra can of beans and an extra can of tomatoes and then I substituted okra for cabbage but pretty much everything else is the same and then I actually stirred in a tablespoon of tofu sour cream alrighty this is going to be dinner tonight well it's not, unless I get a fork, I don't have a fork. So anyway, not very exciting, but I have a big salad um, with like, I don't know, romaine, and then I um, got some kale in there that I massaged. I gave it a nice back rub. And uh, I got cauliflower, cucumbers, tomatoes, green beans, and then some pinto beans and rice. Um, I've got a little bit of sriracha on there, and then I'm going to be putting on my one of my favorites, the, oh, shit, shoot, shucks, oh darn, look what I did. Uh, the roasted red pepper dressing, and then I made, this one is a, believe it or not, it's a Thousand Island, it's not very red. This was out of the Eat to Live book that I just got. So uh, I'm gonna be adding both of those dressings and then also I have that sriracha on there. So you've heard me talk about the book. Now I wanna show you the app. It's that green one right there, the Daily Dozen. 
here it is. Here's a list of the 12 um, foods that he recommends you eat every day. And then there's little check boxes when you um, eat the recommended amount of servings that he suggests. So for instance, beans here, he's recommending three servings a day of let's say a half a cup of cooked beans. Um, and for instance, today I had cannellini beans in my soup and pinto beans on my salad. And so that was probably at least a cup and a half of beans, which is three servings. So I would go ahead and mark three servings and mark that done. And then it puts the check boxes in. So I'm gonna go ahead and fill this out based on what I ate today and see where I fell short. Okay, so I got everything. I went way over on my greens. I think I had like eight servings. There was two cups of spinach just in that smoothie this morning. And then I had at least like six cups in my salad. So I went way over on the greens, which I believe is fine. It's nowhere can I see in the book does he say you're not supposed to go over the recommended amount. Although I guess I could see like he wouldn't really want you to go over too much on nuts and things, but I can't imagine greens. So anyway, I'm over on greens, but I was short on whole grains. Um, he recommends three servings a day, and I, I only had uh, brown rice in my salad and brown rice pasta in my soup but I don't think I had a cup and a half. So I, it was probably more like a cup, so I only had two servings. Then I just also want to point out under spices, there's no checkbox, but he does recommend a quarter teaspoon of turmeric a day, which I didn't get in today. Um, but I believe there's an issue with the app. There should be a check mark, a check box there. I've asked them to add it, but it's not on there now. Um, other than that, I got in everything or went went over. So I highly recommend the book. I highly recommend the app. And um, thanks for watching.